Oh, hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, in this one, I'm going to do a quick review of a capture device that I just received from a company called Basic Color. I think it's actually being sold by multiple companies, but that's the one that sent me this. It is a high definition capture card, and it's supposed to allow for basically zero latency or close to it. Pass through of an HDMI, so you can be sending to your computer and also sending to a monitor or to some other situation that you may have, depending on what your configuration is. So let me open this one up and we'll take a look. What do we got in here? Well, not a lot. Let's see, is there instructions? Yeah, there's a quick little instruction pamphlet here. It doesn't look like it has a lot to it though. There is a QR code, I guess, to go and click on it and find out more, but it's supposed to be plug and play. So here's the actual capture device itself. It has an HDMI in and out, and it also has audio, both for microphone and for headphone or speakers. So it'll pass that through as well, basically tapping it off of or adding it to the HDMI connector. Then at this end, I believe yeah, there's a cable in here that looks like it's a USB type A to a USB type C. And it looks like the USB type C plugs in right here in the end. So you will need an HDMI cable or two, depending on how you want to configure it, in order to try this one out. So let me go ahead and uh, try it and see what happens. Okay, now we have them side by side here. On the left hand side, we have what's coming out of the SD card of my Sony ZV-1 camera. So it's raw right to the card. It is set for only HD because that's what this device really supports and it also is 60 frames per second. So that's what I'm filming this entire video in if you hadn't noticed already. And then on the right hand side, I have what's coming out of OBS, capturing going through this uh, HD capture card that I'm trying to review here. Now it shows up in OBS as something called Miramax, which I guess is ultimately the manufacturer of the chip that's embedded in there. But right now I'm doing the sound right from the camera, so now let me switch over to the sound from the other side. So now the sound that you're hearing is coming out of OBS. So it's what OBS is hearing through the device, going from my HDMI into the HD capture card, being converted to USB, and being fed into uh, the system itself. So this way you get to hear if there was any difference between the two sounds. Okay, then that's a, a quick test. The next test I'll do will be actually checking for the latency. And I'll use the method I've used before. Okay, what you're seeing right now is from OBS. The left-hand image is a screen capture of my secondary screen, and it's showing the stopwatch website that I use quite often to check latency. On the right-hand side, you see what's coming out of my camera, my Sony camera, going through the HD video capture device, and then into a USB port, and then being captured by OBS. So when I start this, I will then go for a few seconds, and then I will stop it, and then we'll be able to tell by where it stops what took place here in terms of the latency. Okay, so let's try it. Okay, that shows what the total uh, screen capture was on the left versus the right, and the difference between the two is the latency that was calculated. Okay, now this is a little more difficult to test, but what I have here is uh, dual screen captures going on. The right-hand one is coming off of what's on the screen of the computer itself. On the left-hand one is what's coming through the output of the camera and then going through the HD capture card and then being displayed on a secondary screen on the left. So now when I run it, you should be able to see the difference between these two times. So let's see what that looks like. So now I'll go ahead and stop it and see where it winds up. Well, that concludes this quick little video of this review of this HD video capture card. I actually still have it on the computer back here. Let me disconnect this. It did extremely well, I thought. The actual delay, the propagation delay, was fantastic. It's as good as I've seen any of the capture cards that I tested it. It had, what, 116 milliseconds of delay between converting from HDMI into uh, USB and of course the system and the software is part of that and then when I did it with the pass-through 
I saw a total of 57 milliseconds of a delay, which is absolutely standard. That is strictly the software and the operating system that causes that. So it did extremely well. What did you think of the quality? It wasn't 100%, but it looked good to me. It looked like it's more than usable. So hopefully you got something out of this video, and if you did, you would at least consider subscribing to my channel. Then I can do other technology reviews like this, and you'll be able to catch up with them. So until the next time, take care, stay safe, and please, still stay healthy.